What's up, everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here. The day's coming up where I leave. I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'm getting everything set up. I'm packing and I'm putting all my jars and stuff in storage. I took a couple of samples of some jars that I wanted to show you to demonstrate some points. So for this video, I'm just gonna go over these two guys. These two guys are just samples of uh, four jars that I made with the Tampanensis agar from the same plate. They're all doing fantastic, but I just wanted to show you, if you remember, I think in one of my videos I said that once I put an agar wedge in there, then I shake the crap out of it. And this is exactly why. If you don't shake it, you're just gonna get this growth here, which is nice, it's agar, right? So you'll have mycelium immediately around the agar. But if you shake it, you see after a couple of days, you get all of these places, that tiny bits of mycelium chipped off of the agar wedge. So in this way, you will get far more inoculation going on in your jar. And it all as well. Just shake the crap out of it after you put it in there. Pretty simple. No need to cut it up or anything. Uh, no need to make little slices. In fact, that's more risky. You, you'll basically have more surface area in your agar wedge for contents to potentially stick onto. So bigger the wedge, uh, generally the safer it is. So yeah, look at all that growth, guys. Beautiful. And just to demonstrate all of, all of the jars, I shook them. So all of them are like that. So I just brought two of them just to show you how it is. You can see. This one's even more nice. Yeah, there's the agar wedge up there, right? But it seems like most of the mycelium is all around because I shook it. See, it saves a lot of time, guys. I mean, honestly, with this technique, you don't even really have to shake it. Um, I mean, you could, but you don't even have to. In fact, if you were to shake it, I would like shake it now, honestly, with all this growth, because there's also a lot of growth inside that you can't see. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to share. I forgot to add a very important point. I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea about this. You don't want to be doing this with when you, if you inoculate grain jars with spore syringes because uh, spore syringes, it's better if you just let them call, like meet up and colonize because if you shake it, then they're not going to be able to germinate uh, or it's going to be harder for them to meet up unless you shoot like a crap ton of spores in there, which I don't recommend because you're going to ruin the hydration level of your grains, which you put a lot of effort into getting right. So basically just stick with my advice only for agar wedges or liquid culture would be fine too. You could do that with liquid culture, but don't do it with spores. All right, guys, have a good one.